after years of searching, I have found the perfect browser. Thorium. I'm not going to just drag this out. I want to show you how awesome this browser is. I finally kicked Brave to the curb, and there's just so much to go over here. So let's get into it, because this browser, oh, it holds up to its name. When I look at it, the fastest browser on Earth, yeah. Is it fast? Like, you go to YouTube and you start loading up your stuff. It just, it does its job and it does it well, no matter the operating system you're on. If you're on Mac, if you're on Windows, if you're on Linux, this thing works. And this guy is so insane with a lot of how agno agnostic he is. He even supports Windows 7. The guy is a little bit of a nut, but I love him to death because this browser is finally my new home. I've been searching for some time. People know I've not been happy with Brave, but it just kind of, eh, it did enough. But man, it was it bloated. There's just a whole bunch of crypto garbage and other stuff that I just didn't like. And then I thought about moving to ungoogle Chromium. And that's when I found this project. Let's get into what it is, because there's a lot of hardware acceleration that's been put in here. There's a lot of privacy and security things that have been in here as well. It touts anywhere between an 8 and a 38% performance improvement over vanilla Chromium. Now, that's not Chrome. I'm talking about Chromium. Over vanilla Chrome, this percentage is quite a bit higher because Chrome comes bloated with a whole bunch of stuff. But you know some of the drawbacks of Chromium are that it just doesn't have that acceleration. You need it. You want it. You want that fast feeling. That's why people still use Chrome a lot of times instead of Chromium, because they strip out some of those features. Well, Thorium adds all those features back and does a better job than Google does with Chrome, because there's not all that extra bloat everywhere. So let's get into some of the different things. The website's not well orchestrated, by the way. If you're looking to get it, you can click on whatever one you're looking to do. And <laughs> he even has like a little thing. He actually still uses Windows 7, big weirdo. Uh, but you still have this right here where you can download your Linux images right here if you want to do app image, RPMs for like Fedora, SUSE, Deb for Debian, and Zip for just the regular old binary. And then you have your Windows releases. If you just click on Windows, most people, this is what you're going to be using. You just have a little mini installer. You run that and it will go well on your Windows boxes as I have it on my inside Windows box. The sync in here is also very good. And I've cleared it out, imported all my stuff from Brave, which took a century. But this whole past week, I've just been tinkering with this. Now that I've told you what it's all about, what are the patches that he's doing? Because there's a lot of stuff in here that kind of makes it amazing. So I already told you about some of the other stuff, but he's done a lot of extra work here. Whether it's live captioning and all these other things, these are actually made by him. He's put a lot of development into it. The VAA API also, I, I believe that in speeds up a lot of the performance. I've tried a lot of different browsers on here. Like I, I like personally like Vivaldi on Windows, but Vivaldi on Linux kind of feels sluggish and not all that good. And I actually ended up switching off of Valdi to go to Brave because of that. Because on, when I was in Linux, I was like, ah, oh, this just isn't quite the same. It doesn't feel right. And Brave did a decent job with their Linux iteration and Windows. But this just does a lot better. You can see all the different patches that he's done, a lot of hardware compatibility here, adding a lot of do not track and privacy and security settings in here as well. Gosh, just, oh, it just keeps getting better the more you read on the patch system. He adds in a bunch of search engines like there's DuckDuckGo, Brave Search, all these other ones. If you want to switch off the official Google one, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I still use Google. It still gives me the best results ish. <laughs> I mean, but who uses search engines anymore? Everyone's just typing it in chat GPT. And then you get back down into here. There's some really good ones towards the bottom of the patches. There's some really good UI features as far as tab saving. There's also like a memory saver. As I was kind of loading it up and configuring it exactly how I have my old browser configured, I noticed the memory wasn't eating up nearly as much when I was over here and I was like doing a NeoFetch. Usually this is like well into the 3000s or 4000s with a Chromium based browser. This one's under three, which I thought was pretty good compared to like how much crap I have loaded. I understand this could be a lot lighter, but 
I wanted it configured the way I like to use my browser. He also added in a lot of dark mode patches, and I actually encourage people to use his Materia dark theme as well. Uh, that's in the actual Thorium. Uh, actually, if you look over here, I believe you can click right here, Thorium theme. I like this material design theme for this. So if you want to copy my design exactly, I'm using the Thorium thing. And I don't think very many people know about this project. That's the thing that kind of blows my mind because this is a great project and I'm using that theme. And then also he does a lot of auto dark and auto uh, theming. So if it if a website detects, hey, are you on auto light or dark theme? A lot of times that doesn't work in Linux and Windows. You get a little bit higher performance, but I've noticed more often than not, it does get it right. You also have disable autoplay, which I don't think I've seen many browsers with that. And all this is just baked right into it. A lot of my extensions, if we look at extensity, this is kind of what I have loaded up at the time being. I'm probably going to cull this down or disable some stuff. Like I don't really use that offline. Uh, my RSS, I disable and enable depending when I'm building out my RSS feeds. And then I'm just trying out some other extensions in here. Like I don't probably need secure shell. And it just automatically kind of culls down and I can increase my extensions by re-enabling them with that one. But I love this. It's so good and I'm using it all the time now and i'm actually not hating myself for actually using a regular browser but just to show some of these actual improvements as well you have 265 decoding patch already baked in and then you also have a whole bunch of uh different like multi-threading improvements and other things and i do notice a big difference when i'm just flipping around opening tabs removing them kind of going through each one it does it very, very seamlessly, no matter what system I'm on. Same performance in Windows, same performance in Linux, same performance in Mac. And wow, just absolutely love it. And he even does some Android patches. Uh, you probably have heard of Bromite. I don't know if he has an Android version of this, but I want to go ahead and just kind of touch on his GitHub. Everything's open source with this as well. It's not some closed source browser. It's based, it, it does pull in a lot of ungoogled Chromium patches, but he expands on it drastically. So I've gone ahead and PayPal him. If you look on the sponsor of this project, I went ahead and clicked this link, sent him $100 starting off, made want to make this video to get more people on this browser because it is very very good and i love the open source nature and the performance of it it's exactly what i've been looking for for years that's not clickbait but at the start it is something i've been actively looking for and i finally found it and i noticed like his patreon here only has like a couple people donating i don't know how many people have donated from paypal alex if you watch this uh go ahead and add like a github link as well GitHub developers only take 6%. I'm sponsoring like Zero Linux down here and other open source projects. I'm going to get into where I'm redistributing stuff that I get and some of the sponsors I, I get on my uh, development. I really want to help these other open source projects by giving them a little bit more of visibility because this one, man, I feel like this is one of the best open source projects I've found all year long and I absolutely love it. If for whatever reason, Alex gets hit by a bus tomorrow, somebody could probably fork this or, you know, more developers could jump in. He's already had a, you know, a couple contributors, about nine contributors to it. But hopefully if you can't contribute financially, maybe you can contribute code and make this project even better because wow, it's so darn good. So with that, I'm going to leave it here. Try it out. I highly encourage you to try this browser it is if you're a chromium person if you're firefox by all means stay on firefox firefox has its own deal with a like privacy script i could probably make another video on that but i've always been kind of a chromium user because i'm tied into google and i do need some of the stuff but this is just such a great balance and a fantastic by far the best chromium brace browser if this ever project were to go away i probably put ungoogled chromium at number two and then uh the others in you know vivaldi brave you know a lot of those i've used in the past and they're not bad they're commercial and they're bloated and they're just uh, a lot slower than these other counterparts so thank you alex from thorium hopefully more people contribute to this project because I really wanted to see it evolve and I'm 100% full time using this as my now new browser. So I throw my whole support around it. 
I can't wait to see where this goes, but if it just stays where it is and just continues to improve little by little, I could see everyone using this because it is so much better than Edge or any other crappy browser that many people are using out there. Thorium is amazing.